got coherence, which is a user management authentication uh, mix for Phoenix. Um, it's a lot like uh, Ruby and Rails's version of Devise, which is a very good, pretty much standard uh, authentication system that we see very typically in a lot of different Rails projects that at least we utilize quite a bit. And uh, this one supports a lot of the same types of of things that we're used to in terms of device. Uh, it's not one for one, but it's, it's very similar. Um, anyway, what we want to do is we want to create a project in Phoenix and then test it out and then begin to add that layer of authentication uh, through for we're using co using coherence to the Phoenix project. So let's go ahead and start by creating our new Phoenix project. So Fe mix Phoenix new, and then we'll call this uh, user management example. Okay. Let's go ahead and install the dependencies. Okay, so now that we get those in there, let's go ahead and get into our user management example. And uh, let's create the database just to get that up and running. It's going to compile for a couple seconds, and then we've got uh, our project here. And then once we're inside the app itself, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and Let's do git init and git add git commit. Let's say initial commit. Let's go ahead and uh, capture that in a repo so we can post it online a little later on. All right, and then of course we can do a couple of fun things uh, in terms of just testing our project to make sure it works. So if we want to do that, um, just mix uh, Phoenix dot server. Oh, that's phone. And then what we'll do is bring that up. localhost 4000 and now we know that our uh, web server is running everything's running pretty well and we're pretty happy with it so let's go ahead and uh, I suppose we can leave that running we'll start a new instance here and what we'll do is we want to um, scaffold and create some some quick views real quick um, so we'll use the Phoenix generator to scaffold some posts like for a simple blog. Um, we can do this just using mix Phoenix gen HTML. We'll call it the post as the objects. Uh, posts is the table. And then we'll give it the properties string and then uh, body text. Okay, awesome. Cool, it's already got an error, that's just great. Um, what we need to do is just uh, go ahead and ecto dot uh, migrate. But before we can do that, what I wanna do is pull this up into our IDE. And what I'll do is bring this up over here. Uh, and the, the first thing that's wrong here is that when you do this generator command, there's a little bit of a pitfall here where you need to uh, add it to the routes. And if you're getting just new to Phoenix itself, then you need to add that here. So go ahead and add this line. Let's cancel into here. 
because I can't run that migration piece until then. I'll get the same error that I get over here. So you know, see how that came back? I didn't even do the migration yet. Let's go ahead and migrate the database or migrate it here. And now I should be able to go to posts and now I can put the posts in here and then everything's hunky-dory for a little while. Okay, so then another part is, is we really wanna start wrapping some authentication here. We don't want anyone to just uh, create posts, edit them, and, and just that basic layer there. So what we wanna do is <coughs> we wanna create a couple of seeds first, um, one for users later on, but um, you know, just taking a look at how we're we're working with seeds in general before we get very involved with that. Let's create one for the post itself. So if we go into seeds over here, uh, we can create one for us. So let's take a look. What we want to do is just create one and we can follow the syntax a little bit here and we'll modify it slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and do, at least I'm going to do uh, user management sum all, and we'll call it post. And then we'll go title. And then call this my post. And then uh, the body as my content. So this should be the first stuff that goes in there. Um, and that will create, uh, that will seed us a bit there. So what we should be able to do now is actually just run it. There's no great like rate command here for this. You gotta actually get it pretty specific. So we just do mix run uh, private slash repo slash seeds. And we already have an error, and I expected this to happen actually. Um, so the big flaw that we just ran into here, and that's definitely an, an error that I ran into my first time, was that I tend to follow the the Ruby way of doing things, and that's with the single quotes, except for we need it. It's one of those lint type things that you get in Ruby mine a lot. So it says you know you want to remove those unless you have some sort of key value you're adding in there. Um, Elixir doesn't like it; it wants the double quotes, especially in in here so if we go ahead and and take those out it looks like a little vanilla error there uh, and then rerun this this will actually run now just fine so if we go back over to here you can see I see it in my first piece in there which is good okay so now off to actually adding the package itself so starting in your config, I'm sorry, your uh, your version of the gem file here, we need to add it to the dependencies. So let's go ahead and take coherence and we'll copy and paste this into here. Now we've added it. Um, and now we also need to add it into uh, the project itself. And that'll go into the applications. And this is specifically because if, as you read the instructions for it, it needs to load before Phoenix does as an authentication mechanism. And now that we have that in there, let's go ahead and run the mix to uh, get the rest of the dependencies. Okay, so now that we have those, uh, we need to start installing it. So what we'll do is we'll just run the next piece, which you can see here, is, and with this you can have a couple of different options. This is the part where I just spoke about before. Um, but there's a couple of different options you can run to, to turn these on or off. We'll just go with the basis, base one um, without this. Um, and I believe if you scroll down quite a while, you can see what all those different options are. So, oh, it's not there. They're in here somewhere, trust me. I'm sure as you track on to each one of these. But anyway, we want just the basic authentication, meaning that like when we've protected a particular uh, controller, that it'll be, uh, the user will have to authenticate to get to it. 
So let's go ahead and do that dope mix coherence dot install. And this is going to copy a couple of files into here. Um, and then once we're done with that, we need to migrate the database as well. Um, and that's an actual extra step in here that we'll see. Um, but mostly it's going to be adding, but of course what we need to do is we need to add these pieces into the router because it's not done automatically for us. So after we add those into the router and it's giving us this piece right here, which is the exact stuff um, that I've got highlighted on the left hand side here, um, we'll be able to go ahead and do the rest of the database setup. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to throw it up in here ahead of everything else. And then what I'm going to do is just the mix ecto setup. And then uh, it looks like it reinserted from our seed file. And it also did the migration for us. So we don't need to do those actions. So if I go back to my web server now, I should be able to get it. And yeah, I've got my extra piece here for this. Okay. So, there's, so we're good on that front uh, for now. So now what we need to do is we need to add a seed into the database. We need to be able to add our first loot user. And I'm not going to go through the part of registration for, uh, you know, messing with that stuff quite at this point because I just want to make sure it works. So with my other seed here, I'm actually going to add another one. So I'm going to copy this one here. And we're just going to call this guy user. And what we'll do is actually I'll bring him over here. I can take a look at this. So there's another one liner here. And you can see the difference between the project names here. Example. Let's make this bigger so people can see it. All right. So <coughs> this would be a lot more elegant if we uh, put this to a couple different lines, which is it's definitely something we should do. Um, but for the sake of doing this right now, we'll, we'll go ahead and continue on with this. So I just want to create a, a simple user here with the email admin to password, password, and have it be inserted into the database. And that'll suffice our requirement to have that first user. Um, with doing that, I'll actually create new posts too. So um, we'll head back over to our terminal. And we'll go ahead and seed it again. And now we've got, uh, of course, our post and then a new user. So if I go over here and cycle this, I've got my my next one, which is, which is great. Okay. So now that I've got that in there, we need to start to protect some of the stuff we don't want anyone to, to log in through it. So what I'm going to do actually is use the router and I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here and put it one of those protected blocks so I don't have to worry about it anymore. So what we'll do is create a new one called scope slash user management example and do we spell that incorrectly and what we want to do is we want to pipe it through the protected part now since um, as you can see here the browser has got this part here and then this piece is protected so we want to pipe all these through protected area so pipe through protected. And then what we want to do is do uh, get, actually we'll do resources slash posts 
and then we want it to hit the post controller. Okay. Oh, I'm missing the comma. All right. Okay, so there we go. That should now uh, work. So when we refresh this page over here, it should start to prompt us with getting the user here. Uh, router's not loaded, it cannot be found. All right, let's, let's backtrack just for a second here. Make sure we have the right ones in. So what we need to do actually is move this up, which is more a piece of housekeeping. But the reason it didn't go the first time is because we need to actually restart this the server in this sense. So we needed to have these uh, initializers load up. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and cancel the server, go ahead and restart it. And then when we go back to here and reload it, we can see that it's actually coming up. So now we should be able to log in now. So we'll go admin2 at example.com, password and sign in. And now we can see everything we needed to. But if I was to log out or anything like that, um, I wouldn't get the same, same piece for it. So if I just hit this, and let's just go to the first page, I can still get to it just fine and everything works great. So that in a nutshell is just getting started scratching the surface of the uh, coherence uh, mix, uh, which is really great. I'm starting to like it a lot uh, and as we get more involved with it, we'll explore some of the features of it and definitely do a lot more comparisons of how it, it works rather than how devise works. And right now it's handling a lot of exactly what I want to do, just basic user authentication. And of course we'll be looking to try to do authorization eventually at some point through some other gem uh, or I'm sorry, mix and uh, how that's gonna play into uh, exactly how coherence works. Um, in the past you've worked with devise and something like pundin or can 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 those other things are pretty typical for a lot of Rails projects. Um, one of the next pieces we'll also be working with is uh, xadmin, which is a pretty cool little uh, mix that we're looking at in terms of how do we replicate that active admin functionality. So we're looking for some one-to-one -one relationships in terms of uh, just working with new projects and how we would get some of the off-the-shelf components in Elixir Phoenix projects. Anyways, thanks for watching. I post the, I'll go ahead and post the sample code up on GitHub. You guys can check it out. Please leave a comment uh, and let us know if this was helpful or if you need something different um, so we can kind of cre keep creating these videos as we get more involved with Phoenix and Elixir and, you know, keep continue learning.